Hello, my name is Chisa, and I am reading Master Dogen's Shogugento. And this is chapter 41, Zenki, all functions. Zen means all or total, and ki means functions. So Zenki means all functions or the total function. From the Buddhist standpoint, we can say that this world is the realization of all functions. Master Dogen explained this state of the world, quoting the words of Master Engo Kakugon, that life is the realization of all functions and death is the realization of all functions. The Buddha's great truth, when perfectly mastered, is liberation and is realization. It's a note saying liberation penetrating through to the substance and dropping free. Right? This liberation describes that for some life liberates life and death liberates death. Therefore, there is getting out of life and death, and there is entering into life and death both of which are perfectly mastered great truth. And there is abandoning of life and death, and there is salvaging of life and death, both of which are perfectly mastered great truth. Realization is life, and life is realization. At the moment of this realization, there is nothing which is not the total realization of life, and there is nothing which is not the total realization of death. Note on total is the word Zen, as in the chapter title. This momentary pivot state can cause life to be and can cause death to be. The very moment of the present in which this pivot state is realized is not necessarily great and not necessarily small, is neither the whole world nor a limited area, and is neither long-lasting nor short and pressed. Life in the present exists in this pivot state, and this pivot state exists in life in the present. Life is not a process of appearance. Life is not a process of disappearance. Life is not a manifestation in the present, and life is not a realization. Rather, life is the manifestation of all functions, and death is the manifestation of all functions. Remember, among the countless dharmas that are present in the self, there is life and there is death. Let us quietly consider whether our own present life and the miscellaneous real dharmas which are coexisting with this life are part of life or not part of life. There is nothing not a single moment, not a single dharma that is not part of life. There is nothing, not a single matter, nor a single state of mind that is not part of life. Life can be likened to a time when a person is sailing in a boat. On this boat, I'm operating the sail. I've taken the rudder and pushing the pole. At the same time, the boat is carrying me and there is no I beyond the boat. Through my sailing of the boat, the boat is being caused to be a boat. Let us consider and learn in practice just this moment of the present. At this very moment, there is nothing other than the world of the boat. The sky, the water, the shore have all become the moment of the boat which is utterly different from moments not on a boat. So life is what I am making it, and I am what life is making me. While I'm sailing in the boat, my body and mind and circumstances and self are all essential parts of the boat, and the whole earth and the whole of space are all essential parts of the boat. What has been described like this is that life is the self, and the self is life. Master Kokugon, titled Zen Master Engo, said, 
Life is the manifestation of all functions. Death is the manifestation of all functions. We should clarify these words and master them. To master them means as follows. The truth that life is the manifestation of all functions, regardless of beginning and end, and although it is the whole earth and the whole of space, not only does not stop life being the manifestation of all functions, but also does not stop death being the manifestation of all functions. The moment that death is the manifestation of all functions, although it too is the whole earth and the whole of space, not only does not stop death being the manifestation of all functions, but also does not stop life being the manifestation of all functions. Thus, life does not get in the way of death, and death does not get in the way of life. The whole earth and the whole of space are both present in life and are both present in death. But it is not that through the whole earth as one entity and the whole of space as another entity, all functions operate in life on the one hand and all functions operate in death on the other hand. It is not a matter of unity, but neither is it a matter of variance. It is not variance, but neither is it identity. It is not identity, but neither is it multiplicity. Therefore, in life there are miscellaneous real dharmas, which are the manifestation of all functions, and in death there are miscellaneous real dharmas, which are the manifestation of all functions. And in the state beyond life and beyond death, there is the manifestation of all functions. In the manifestation of all functions there is life and there is death. For this reason, all functions as life and death may be present in a situation like a strong man flexing and extending an arm. Or they may be present in a situation like a person in the night reaching back with a hand to grope for a pillow. They are realised where there is limitlessly abundant mystical power and brightness. In the very moment of realisation, because we are being totally activated by realisation itself, we feel that before this realisation there was no realisation. Nevertheless, the state before this realisation was the previous manifestation of all functions. Although there has been previous manifestation of all functions, it does not get in the way of the present manifestation of all functions. Thus, views such as these vie to be realised. Shobogenzo Zenki preached to the assembly at the office of the governor of Unshu near Rokuhara Mitsuji Temple in Yoshu on the 17th, 17th day of the 12th lunar month in the third year of Ninji, 1242. This was copied on the 19th day of the first lunar month in the fourth year of the same era, Ijo. That concludes Book 2. of Shobogenzo. So tomorrow we will start book three. Very exciting. Thank you for listening. Take care.